Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to work on doors. So let's start adding doors. Now to add doors I need to bring in some doors first. So if I select this door to command and I go to the properties and I have only one type of door currently. Now we can bring in more doors as I've, I've already explained to you guys in the previous videos. So we click on load family button and then we're going to navigate to US Imperial and there is a folder doors. Now I have all of these doors available. Now I'm going to click on residential and then we're going to find some doors here. So we need a garage door. So I think this one looks all right. I'm going to click on open and it's going to convert that to Autodesk Revit 2017. Now we have the garage door loaded. I'm going to load another door so we go back, navigate to US Imperial, doors, residential, and then we're going to find a door for over inside. So let me just select one of the door from here. I think that's fine, the wood panel one. Let's just bring it in. It's going to get converted as well. And now one, we need one double door as well for our entry. Let's go back and then US Imperial doors residential I'm gonna find a double door so I think that's fine let's open that as well and now right now we are in a double door so let's select that double door we click on edit type to edit materials but we'll leave that as whatever it is default so it's showing you the dimensions here width is six feet height is seven feet which exactly what I want so let's click OK and I'm going to zoom in here now I'm going to find a midpoint of this door so let's just click here and that's going to be our door here now I'm going to click on modify tool let's select the door again and then we are going to change the dimension to make them in the middle so let's make this dimension permanent let's select the dimension and then click on this EQ sign which will make our door in the center and then I'm going to select the dimension and delete that and I'm going to click on unconstrained now right now we should look at our plan in 3d so let's click on this birdhouse icon on the top or you can go to project browser expand 3d views we have the 3d view here let's double click on that and I'm going to press shift on the keyboard and press mouse wheel hold them down and move your mouse now we can see that we got the double door done there it looks all right now we're gonna go back to level one now we got the double door done and let's finish off the other doors we need in our house plan now let's select the door command again we have already loaded few doors so let's select this single panel door so let's select that and I'm going to drop one door here and I'm going to press spacebar to you know flip that door so let's just drop it here we'll change the dimension but let's finish applying doors first so let's press spacebar here and then we need another same door in the middle here let's select that and then we are going to have another door here so let's press spacebar and let's just drop a door here as well now we got one door there one door there and now we need a small door so let's select this small door from here so we have this 36 by 84 inch we have this 30 by 80 let's select that one for the toilet we can drop that so let's, let's press spacebar to flip that and then let's just press spacebar to flip that as well so I'm just gonna drop a door here all right so we got toilet door done now let's work on our wall a little bit actually we need another door in the garage as well so let's just flip that as well so before we change the dimensions of each of these doors we need to work on some of the walls so First thing, I want to remove this wall because this is going to be entry point for people who wants to go at the back. 
So how do we remove that? If I click on this trim and extend corner tool, I can select this wall and select this. Now it's going to fix that for me. Now we fix that area. This is going to be some kind of table here so people can have a party and stuff like that outside. All right, so now one more thing we can do here. We are just going to select this wall and delete it for now because after this boundary, we're going to add some nice looking wall here, which is going to be shorter, right? So one more thing we can do here. I'm actually going to the split element. So we go zoom in and I'm going to do click here to split that wall. And we are going to go to right here and let's just select that try to split that as well right so we have these two separate walls now okay so we got these two separate walls now let's look at our model in 3d one more time so let's click on this all right so our house looks all right but there is a problem with the walls here i want to make sure these walls goes up to the second level we created before right so i'm gonna go to elevation so let's select the north elevation or we can go to south elevation and then i'm going to select all the elements we have in there and then we can filter the selection so i'm going to click on filter click on check none and select the walls only let's click on apply apply now in the properties we can see we have selected walls 30 objects and now the top constraint is unconnected I'm going to click here and I'm going to change this to level two and I'm going to click on apply. And now our walls are constrained to level two. Even if we move the level two now, the wall will, uh, will be moved as well. So they will change the dimension. Now let's bring it back to 10 feet. Now let's look at this in 3d. Let's click here. And now our house looks much nicer. Now I'm going to do a few modification to the walls. So I'm going to press shift and then press the mouse wheel to orbit. And now I'm going to do some modification to this wall. I actually don't want to put a door here. I want to just cut the wall from here so people can go inside the dining room without even opening the door from the guest room. So to do that modification, first of all, I can isolate this wall. Isolate means everything else will be hidden for the time being and we can only we would only be able to see this wall So how do we isolate this object? If you look here, we have this uh, Glasses icon at the bottom here. So I'm going to click on it and we have four options Isolate category means everything which has the same category will be isolated We can hide category isolate element hide element. So in this case, I want to isolate this wall so i'm going to click on isolate element and now as you can see here it says temporary hide slash isolate view so we are only looking at this wall now we are going to cut away some area from the wall so to do that i can show you another command that is called in the opening panel we have this uh, wall opening command so i'm going to select that and then i'm going to select this wall and now I can draw a rectangle here so we can just cut away some area from the wall. So let's draw a rectangle here, something like that, right? And then I'm going to select this modify tool and I'm going to move my cursor. And as you can see, I'm able to select that cut away. So select that. We get these four arrows. We can move this up. We can move this down. I'm going to take it outside a little bit so make sure that i cut away the full wall from here and let's look at the dimension as well so we have about six feet area so i'm going to change this to let's say five feet and then i'm going to make sure that i cut away pretty much everything from this side so it's going to give me an error it says undrawn element so let's cancel it out we can leave some area at this side so we can add a dimension here for like 1.5 feet right so now we have the cutaway now to unisolate everything we can go back to this glass icon and then click on 
reset isolate reset temporary hide isolate and now we are going to look at our wall here so as you can see we have the cutaway area so people inside our guest room will come inside to the dining room easily without even opening the door and it's a lot easier we can add a curtain here later on now let's look at a few more things here so we need to add a door for the toilet so let's go to level one and then i'm going to add a smallest door we can find here so let's find this 30 inch by 80 door and then let's try to drop it now to flip that i'm going to press spacebar to flip it and let's just drop a door there as well right now let's fix the dimensions for the doors so let's start from the top here so right now we can see this door here and i want to leave a door jammer about 4.5 inch for every door we have let's select this door and now i'm going to zoom in and we can click on this pivot point to make it to align to this side of the door and click here so it will have it will give us the exact uh, dimension from this side of the wall and the door let's click on dimensions and then we give it zero space 4.5 so zero is going to be feet space means go to next unit and 4.5 press enter now we have exact dimension from the wall to the door let's do that for this door as well let's select that click on this pivot point click it again to make it align to this side of the door click here click on dimension and give zero space 4.5 now we have the door jammer done we need to do for this door as well select them select the pivot point I know it's a bit time consuming so that's what you have to do little space 4.5 you could do that while you were drying the doors but uh, we can do anytime we want so that's the best part about Revit it's all automatic not like AutoCAD because I know AutoCAD as well and I've done the full course on AutoCAD on Udemy and you guys can check it out as well if you are interested in learning AutoCAD I we need to do with these as well so let's select this door change the pivot point click on a dimension oops we're going back to there let's click on the dimension and then zero space 4.5 and let's move this door as well so let's just click on this pivot point let's click here click on a dimension oops i again i accidentally pressed that let's zoom in zero space 4.5 inch press enter now that's pretty much it is that's the door we need now we're gonna yeah, we need another door here let's select that and click on this pivot point and then we can just select the dimension here zero space 4.5 inch and now we're gonna make sure that this door stays aligned in the center actually so select that door and now we should see the dimension we're not actually seeing that let's select it and uh, it's actually already in the center that's why we're not getting the dimension because we did that equal sign before so it's constrained in the center now we have done the doors and in the next video we are going to start adding windows mm -hmm.